Hey editors, I've got 10 cool Premiere Pro edits you'll actually use perfect for leveling up your videos. Let's dive in. Number 1. Change the color of an object. Select your video. Go to Effects and search for Change to Color and drag it into your video. Then go to Effect Control under Change to Color. Click the small dropper icon next to From. Go to your preview screen and click on the color you want to replace. Now click on the white color box. Then select the color you want your object to be. Now scroll down and adjust the hue under Tolerance until the color change is perfect. Now you have finally completely changed the color of your object. Also, you can change the colors again by clicking on the second color box and selecting the color you want. Number 2. Glass Bar Effect I already added my video clip. Firstly, create a new adjustment layer. You can accept the default setting for this. Now click and drag the new adjustment layer above the video clip you want the effect on. Go over to Effects and search for Transform and drag it onto the adjustment layer. Now under Effect Control go to Motion and uncheck the Uniform Scale option and change Scale Height to 150, Width to 30 and Rotation to 25. Go down under the Transform and change the Scale to 130. Now we have to animate our glass bar. Keep select your adjustment layer and move the slider to the beginning of the clip. Now go over to the effect control. Lower the value of the first number in front of the position under motion until the effect just disappears on our screen and click the stopwatch icon. Then move the slider to the end of the adjustment layer and increase the value back up until the animation go all the way to the right of our screen and then disappears again. Now duplicate the adjustment layer twice by holding ALT and clicking and dragging above. Now you have a very professional looking glass bar effect in your video. Number 3. Enhance Video Quality I already added a clip to my timeline. Go over to the project panel and create an adjustment layer. Then click and drag the layer above your clip on the timeline. Now extend the duration of your adjustment layer to match your clip. Then go over to Effects, search for Sharpen and Unsharpen Mask, and add both effects to your adjustment layer like this. Now go over to Effect Controls and modify the Sharpen amount to 15, and the Unsharpen Mask amount to 110. Number 4. Denoise Grainy Video I've already added video clip to my timeline. First, go over to Effects and search for VR Denoise. Then drag and drop it on to the video clip. Now go over to Effect Controls and under VR Denoise, change Noise Level to 0.30. Number 5. Remove Solid Green Screen As a first step, I already added two clips to my timeline and make sure to keep your green screen video on top of the background video. Then select green screen video and go over to effects and search for ultra key. Drag and drop it into the green screen video. Now go over to effect controls and select this color picker icon. Then go to the preview window and click on the green area. Now your done green screen was removed completely. Number 6. Animate still photos. First, Drag and drop your image onto the timeline and adjust the duration as you prefer. Next, go to the Effects Control Panel and click the stopwatch icons next to Position, Scale and Rotation. Move the playhead near the end of the timeline, change the values. Then select these three keyframes and drag them to the end of the video. This creates the animation. For a smoother animation, Select all the keyframes by pressing Ctrl plus A. Then right click on any keyframe and choose Auto Bezier. And that's it. We've successfully animated our photo. Number 7. Dreamy Effect I've already added a video clip to my timeline. The first thing we need to do is create two copies of our video clip. To do this, hold down the Alt key, then click and drag the original clip like this. Next, go to the Effects panel. Search for Directional Blur and drag it onto both of the duplicated clips you just created. Now, select the first duplicated clip and under Directional Blur, 
set the direction to 30 and the blur length to 80. Then, select the second duplicated clip. And for this one, set the direction to negative 30 and the blur length to 80. Lastly, make sure to change the blending mode to screen for both duplicated clips. Number 8. Logo Shine Effect I've already added my logo to the timeline, so let's get started. First, select the logo and head over to Effects. In the search bar, type Lighting Effects, then double-click it to apply. Now, go to Effect Controls, and under Lighting Effects, adjust the ambience intensity to 100. Next, choose a masking tool under the Lighting Effects. I'll use the Pen tool for this tutorial. Draw a rectangle shape like this and then rotate and position it accordingly. After that, click the stopwatch icon next to Mask Path to create a keyframe. Move the playhead forward a few frames, select the mask again, and reposition it like this. And there you go. You've got yourself a cool logo shine effect. Number 9. Vignette Effect I've already added my clip to the timeline. First, create an adjustment layer. Once it's created, drag the adjustment layer into the timeline and match it to the length of your clip. Next, select the adjustment layer and go to the effects panel. Search for the effect called Circle. Double click it to add it to the layer, then navigate to the effect controls panel. Scroll down to the circle effect we just added. The first thing to change is the blending mode set it from None to Stencil Alpha. Now, adjust the radius of the circle. Increase the radius until you see a bit of black in each corner. After that, drop down the Feather option and increase the Feather Outer Edge until the vignette effect becomes visible. If you'd like a stronger vignette, you can further adjust the radius to your liking. Feel free to experiment with what works best for your video. And that's it. Our vignette is complete. Number 10. Animate logo alongside any video. First, drag and drop your logo onto the timeline and adjust the duration as desired. Select the layer, go to the Effect Controls panel, and position the logo, resizing it to your preference. Next, click the stopwatch icons next to Position, Scale, and Rotation. Then, click on Motion and use the handles in the preview window to set the best position and rotation for the logo. Move forward a few seconds and change the position, scale, and rotation again using the preview window. Keep repeating this step every few seconds to create the movement over time. Once you're satisfied with the keyframes, select them all, press Ctrl plus C to copy, then Ctrl plus V to paste, filling the entire video with your animation. Finally, select all keyframes. Right-click on any keyframe and choose Continuous Bezier to smooth out the animation. And that's it! If you have any questions, comment below, and I will reply as soon as possible. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. See you again in the next video.